Time to go back home. Hello, everybody. It is January 3rd. I never imagined that I would be actually doing the broadcast from home, but technology is amazing. Happy New Year's, by the way. I want you to stay. I just finished my radio broadcast. And I'm having my dinner at 10.15 p.m. Made myself a really simple Korean meal, a very Korean meal with minimal panchans or side dishes. I just got my bowl of rice. Yes, I am actually using this bowl. I have my fried eggs with kimchi and I have a side of kim, seaweed, laver. My sleeping schedule is so messed up right now. I think I also couldn't fall asleep because I was watching the Dead Sea. Wait, was that what it's called? The Silent Sea. Wait, the Quiet? No. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Silence of the Sea? Wait, let me check the name. It's the Silent Sea. I got it confused with the Silence of the Lambs. It said Silence of the Seas. Anyways, the Silent Sea and that had a lot of jump scares. So my heart was pounding the entire time. Obviously, it's not going to be helpful if your heart's pounding like that to fall asleep. So that was... My mistake. But yeah, I ended up finishing the series in one sitting. I didn't know what it was going to be about at all. I just knew that it was something to do with space. But I didn't know it was going to turn out the way it did. I think I just always kind of enjoy anything related to space or space travels because that's something that I always wanted to do ever since I was young. Like, I just want to be able to go to the moon, go to space. So I think I'm like romanticizing it. Tomorrow I'm planning on exercising editing what else is there to do yeah just those two all right i'm gonna go enjoy my meal so i'll see you guys tomorrow right now and I just realized I have eight hours of footage how do I have eight hours of footage I thought I didn't even vlog that much guys I took another nap I don't know what it is I just been feeling down I'm getting ready for radio at least radio gives me a reason to like get ready and actually look put together or else I would just look like crap during my entire quarantine. Uh, and probably because I'm not moving around a lot or doing much, I don't feel hungry. So I literally just had the smoothie for breakfast and haven't eaten anything since. It's 5 p.m. soon though, and I'm trying to eat something before radio today and not after because I'm trying to fix this habit of eating so late. Man, this is only day three and I'm already feeling like this. I thought this would be super easy. It's not. So 
this is the tteokbokki I have. I, oh, I was holding it upside down. It's called Gulgok Tteokbokki. It's not too spicy, just the right amount that I like. It comes with sauce, fish cakes, and rice cake. I'm gonna add some veggies to this too. I have onions. That's about it. Oh, I'm also gonna boil some eggs. So I'll do that first while this is thawing for a little bit. I didn't have an appetite and yet I made this delicious tteokbokki and even added mozzarella cheese on top. Well if I'm gonna eat, I want to make sure it's good, you know? Hopefully this will make me feel better and make me more energized for my show. Oh my god, look at that cheese! And I put it in this green bowl after elementary school. When I go to the street cart vendors to eat tteokbokki, they would kind of serve it in this bowl. This is a very nostalgic dish. Mmm! The rice cake is so chewy. I don't know what day of quarantine it is, but yesterday I did not vlog at all. Yesterday was just not a good day. I slept the entire day. I, it was also the first day of that time of the month, so I had really bad cramps. Like, I don't remember the last time I had cramps this bad. So basically, I just had Tylenol and fell asleep, woke up again for a little bit started getting really bad back aches again so i took another time and went to sleep and then this morning i woke up at seven and now i'm having my breakfast just apples with peanut butter but this peanut butter is making me feel better because it's darn delicious i got it from target when i was in new york it's from good and gather organic creamy peanut butter spread oh, it's so creamy and soft and since i woke up early i'm going to try to have a more productive day I'm so over this though, like, I'm so over it. I just want it to end already. closet. Guys, this is the best I could do right now. I just have too much crap. Also, I have this box here that I'm planning on donating. I just have to wait for the end of quarantine to send them. So every day at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., I am required to take my temperature and submit it into the app that I've downloaded. It's called 자가 격리자 안전 보호, and it looks like this. They sent me the sticker that can detect your temperature, along with some masks, some hand sanitizers, some garbage bag that has a radioactive image on it and I'm not allowed to throw anything out until three days after my quarantine is over. Um, so this is really cool. I just take this sticker, 
put it on my wrist like that and leave it there for about 10 minutes. Immediately, the color has changed. Brown means below 36.5, green means 36.5, and yellow means fever, so like 37.5 plus. So as you can tell, it's green, which means my temperature is normal. It says, do you have any of these side effects today? Are you coughing? No. Does your throat hurt? No. Do you have trouble breathing? No. And then I submit it. Yes, yeah, so I have to do that twice a day. As soon as I put it on this, it's going to turn back to brown. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So cool. And I can use the same sticker for two to three days. It's already Friday, so I'm halfway there. <sighs> I bought some things to eat while in quarantine. So I thought I would do a little haul of the things I bought at Market Curly. First, a bagel, a garlic bagel from 4B. Sweet chili sauce, chicken breast. Mini pumapang. Oh my god, so cute. Chador tumpuk mugunji pokkeumbap. Beef brisket and kimchi fried rice because the reviews are good for this. Anyways, I'm very excited about these pungopang. I've been craving pungopang, but because I can't go out to buy from the street vendors, I decided to buy my own. And this is koguma, sweet potato flavored. So there's sweet potato cream inside. I got a mini spring roll set. I got myself an avocado. Oh my god, so unripe. So green. I got an oat milk. And I got Greek yogurt. Now I have some things to eat while I'm in quarantine. Breakfast is served. Actually, no, wait. Breakfast is really served. I added some cinnamon powder to my apple. Phoebe got me this cup as a gift. I have way too much Greek yogurt left over, so I air fried a piece of the bagel. I'm gonna eat this bagel with the Greek yogurt. This is almost like cream cheese. I'm really sad I only had bagel once in New York. Shame. Mm. Yum yum. My warnam sam. Spring rolls. Ooh, that looks so yummy. I don't know why these black lines come out whenever I film in the kitchen. Is this something to do with my kitchen lights? So healthy and delicious. I basically just edited the whole day today. I slept a lot, so my eyelids are like out of control right now. So if you haven't watched part one of my New York trip yet, please do so. Starting tomorrow, I gotta edit part two of my New York trip. Also, when I went to New York, I didn't bring any of my skincare stuff because I was like, I'll be fine using my mom's. And then towards the end of the trip, I started breaking out like crazy. I have like pimples here on this side and as soon as I got back I've been trying to cure it as soon as my quarantine's over I also need to go to my skincare place to treat these I got too cocky I was like my skin will be fine and then BAM In the beginning, I was like, oh my god, quarantine is never ending, like, what the hell? And now that I only have a few days left, I'm like, can it, can time slow down a little bit? Because it's going by too fast and I'm not ready to go back into the real world. Something other than PJs, but still cute and comfortable. This set is from Cordera. It's a Spanish brand, so I'm guessing it's pronounced Cordera. And it's a sustainable and ethically made brand. Everything is upcycled. It's super stretchy, super comfy, 
perfect loungewear. Thank you, Cordero, for sending me the set. Sailor Moon t-shirt. So something I've been watching during quarantine is Singles Inferno or Solo Jiok in Korean. Kind of like been my guilty pleasure during quarantine. I'm on the last episode right now. I don't know who I'm rooting for. I feel like there's been a lot of dating shows recently in Korea. Dating shows are nothing new here. I mean, it's been around for a long time, but I feel like right now there are a lot of dating shows coming out at the same time. It is fun to watch. And I also think about like how I would act if I were ever on a show like that. And I feel like I would just end up making friends with everybody. So in the end, I'd be friends with all of them, but I wouldn't be able to find love. Unless there's somebody that I really like, then I feel like I would really throw myself at him, but I don't think you would know until you are actually put in that situation. Do you guys ever imagine yourselves being in a dating show? How do you think you would be? Let me know because I think it would be so fun to read the comments. I wish the camera would just automatically turn off by itself. Turn off. Turn off. tested today just one more day of quarantine and i'm free apparently it's like the coldest today i have leggings i'm gonna wear another pair of pants on top of these i'm gonna wear these sweats okay then for jacket I'm like should i wear a beanie just took a shower yesterday, but I know it's gonna keep me warm. Ugh, I'm torn. I don't wear hats the day after I take a shower because, you know, it's a waste. But I should dress warm. Do I look warm or what? I'm ready for the cold. Alrighty, let's get going. Oh my god, the fresh air feels so nice. back home now it was nice to be able to leave my house for 40 minutes um the weather it was cold but the air was really nice there's no fine dust today so it was nice to be able to breathe some fresh air the brain poke wasn't too bad it didn't go that deep so thank goodness now i just have to wait for the results to come out tomorrow oh my god i really have to do something about this nasty hair up in New York. soft boiled egg mm-hmm
is my last day of at-home broadcast. Woo! I'll be in the studio tomorrow evening. I'm wearing a robe, perfectly embodying the at-home experience in quarantine. I'm really not a work-from-home kind of person. I need to be out. Guess what? I tested negative. I'm finally done with quarantine. I was supposed to be done an hour ago. My quarantine ends at 12 p.m. noon sharp today. But guess what? I overslept till 1 p.m. And I woke up to like six missed calls from the people that take care of the quarantine. And like five text messages asking what I tested. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't know I was gonna oversleep this much. I was supposed to go to the gym, but now I can't because it's too late. I'm gonna stop by the film store to get my instant camera developed. I freaking forgot to bring my film camera to New York, so I had to buy two disposable ones at Urban Outfitters. Alright, I don't have time. <laughs> Air is nice and fresh. I'm super hungry. It's 7.30 p.m. so I got a wrap delivered. Can't wait to see everyone. Hello! <laughs> Back in the studio with Iris! Look, look, I got these. Yay. Mint chocolate. Mercy. He's obsessed with mint chocolate. Welcome to Sound K, guys. It is January 12th, Wednesday, and we kicked off the show with Chayurova, which means I'm free by Kim Hyo Woo, I'm finally back in this.